What's going on everybody? It's Matt Saletti back with some new goodies. I got my Complete 8 Ultimate, my Complete 8. And today I want to talk to you about Contact 5. Contact 5 has some amazing new filters, effects, uh, new time stretching, and this stuff is just better than ever. So I think we're going to load up a classic break, something like Funky Drummer, and uh, we're going to load that up into Contact and show you off some of the new features. So check this out. It's pretty rad. All right, so first thing we did, I loaded up the Funky Drummer Loop original. And I put that right on Group A on one sound. So we're going to show you the slice. When we hit Slice tab, your BPM, you can see it here on the software, comes in about just about 97 BPM. And you can also see it on the hardware controller here. So what we're going to do is we're going to load up an instance of Contact 5 now and load it up in there so we can show you some of the new stuff. So, in order to actually load in a new instrument, you can just basically drag and drop samples into here. So I'm going to come right to my desktop, and I have my machine loops that I like to cut up. Here's my funky drummer. I'm just going to double click, and you can see it's already mapped out across the keyboard. So we're going to just be working with, right here, nice middle C for you. So let's take a look here, shall we? Under the hood when we come in here, first thing I want to look at is some of the new filters. Now these filters are amazing. So we're going to add in two new filters to show you what we're talking about. We're going to use uh, low pass filters and four pole, specifically low pass filters. So first, let's take a look at the state variable low pass filter. This is just one of the new filters. A lot of the effects underneath the hood in contact have been updated. It's real nice. So let's take a look. I actually want this to loop, so we're going to actually loop this. Now with the SV filter, one thing you're going to notice that's going to respond just like you would anticipate a regular filter is. So when I boost up this resonance peak, listen to what's going to happen here. Very sharp resonant frequency peak right here. And, uh, you know, maybe that's a wanted option to have or maybe it's an unwanted option so either way I'm also gonna add some automation so we can turn some knobs on the machine look how easy that is so now we can just go in so that's normal filter behavior that we're all used to and it's great but I love I absolutely love these new filters these are called the adaptive resonance filters inside of the new version of contact and the way these work is it basically attenuates the resonance peaks so you're not going to get like such extreme peaks and that kind of really distorted nasty sound you get you're going to be able to basically crank the resonance and the filter is smartly going to do what you want it to do just check this out So as you see the difference, if we were to basically use the standard low pass and boost that resonance the same exact way around that same region, <laughs> just crank it, it's going to sound terrible. Let's listen. And the difference here. So these new adaptive resonance filters are just sick and of course you have many different filters I believe it's 37 new filters altogether but um, yeah I mean you have the adaptive resonance in bandpass high pass low pass and you got some cool new ones as well we'll check those out another day maybe 
So that's a great option. The other option I want to talk about is the new Time Stretch Pro. This is absolutely amazing. Some of the best time stretching, well, definitely the best con uh, time stretching contact has ever had, but some of the best on the market, I believe. And I think it kind of goes toe to toe with, you know, what you can get in Ableton. So here's the original. I'm going to keep playing at C3 so it's normal pitch, and we're going to just bust down the speed a little. And again, Notice we're running inside of contact, so all you guys want to do time stretching in contact, throw your loops in here, and then resample. Check this out, we can get about 25% down, 75% of the original speed, and it's still not breaking up. To give you an idea, this is what the old time machine used to sound like at that same range. Not quite. This is pretty nasty. Crank it up the other way if you want to do some drum and bass, however you want. Next, let's look at some of the cool new effects. We looked at filters, but you have a couple new EQ options. We have, for instance, the Solid G EQ. This is based on a classic mixer board. Let me know if you can tell which one it is. <laughs> solid. Definitely solid. One of the cool things is you have all these great presets as well. So... You can really bring out the dimensions with a very musical EQ right here. It's great to use. Let's also take a look at what else we got here. Transient Master. This thing is sick. So this is basically going to be able to shape the transients. It's really good for drum loops, drums in general, but you can use it on anything. So this is what happens when we uh, kind of tweak the controls on this bad boy. how hard hitting that is perfect now maybe I just want to actually take that down it's pretty sick we can just totally tighten that up let's take a look at what else we got here what else we got solid bus compression from that same solid mixing board it's beautiful I'm not going to look at that right now. Let's look at the tape saturation. So we have a nice little analog tape. We can add a, a little bit of warmth or we can go crazy with distortion. Let's take a look. I like that. We're going to take it down. Let's take it down about 80. And then we're going to throw on this filter as well. That's a new loop I want. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to close the GUI from the machine controller. How great is that? And we're going to go in. We might as well just hit the sampling tab. And I'm just going to resample from what we had. If I hit start, it's going to just wait till I hit it and then it's going to record till I hit stop. Here we go. Here's my new loop and machine. We'll hit slice and look at the new BPM, 80, and it still sounds great. 
So it's pretty slick. I can't tell you how impressed I am. I'm loving it. I'm chopping up all sorts of stuff and throwing it in there and having fun with it. So maybe next time we will take a look at using uh, contact for some of the more instrumental stuff. But I just want to show you the power of the new filters, new effects, and especially the time stretching. Peace. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.